Ahoy there! So, been working on the bus for days and days. Finally got everything squared away. Vacation's about half to three quarters up, probably three quarters up by now. But, and you know what? Crappy weather, but we're going to Talkeetna anyway. Here we are in Telkitna. Boy, just about everybody pulled out. This place was packed with these great Alaskan holidays. It was full of those. Like, that's all people use here. Oh, that's a class A toy hauler. Okay, this is pretty cool. These people know how to speak to me. I think this place deserves a look, wouldn't you say? Oh, yeah. I think I know where we're going to lunch. All these zip line tours. Ooh. So, nope. for anybody yeah. who's wondering, dude at the campground told us it's a 10 minute walk. It felt like less than that. If you can walk, I suggest you do walk. Look behind me, there's not a whole lot of parking. Okay, so one thing I gotta tell you guys right now uh, this guy from Duluth, Grand Marie area. This is a tourist town, 100%. Oh. Hang your hair out the front. Niglis, this is the place where the, where the man's man used to buy all his stuff getting outfitted for going up Mount McKinley back when it was still Mount McKinley. Now it's Denali. Back in the day, my family used to have this place called Tom and Jerry's. Pretty similar. Bar downstairs, rooms upstairs. I'll let you figure out the rest. It wouldn't be a hippie town without a Volvo DL, right? This place is particularly cool because they have, looks like they rent out antique Hondas. Not a bad business plan. That'd be fun to ride. Alaska without a yurt. We haven't done a river guide thing since Colorado down Poudre Canyon. This is the river park. They're pretty clear, no RVs. Except for the camp post. So this must be tents only, which is all right. But man, tents are gravel. I don't know how people fish for 
fish in a river like this. Boy, there's a lot of tallow in this water. Did you guys make this mermaid? It's pretty good. It's not really a mermaid. It's not? Yeah. Oh. Well, if you tell people it's a mermaid, they'll be impressed. Okay. Okay. See ya. Well, I think everything around here is a and b now. Now, one thing I've always said with our never-ending searches for property is, boy, I'd sure love to find property on an airstrip. A lot of these places must just be open on the weekend. Okay, so you can't be a retired dog musher and not at least take pictures of this sort of thing. So many people have these rental campers here. That's cool. I mean, I'm not knocking it or anything, but I just didn't realize there were so many. When we pulled into the campground yesterday, it was loaded with rental campground or rental campers. Oh, yellow cab limo. All right. Okay, we got to check this baby out. What is going on here? Denali Overland Transportation Company. Wow. Denali Brewing. What a great business to be in. Sell stuff that markets your product and have people pay for it. That is brilliant. It, these actually speak to me. Well, this looks too much. Now this is interesting. Because you got an air service place here, which I'm sure works on engines, but I just don't know how big of a plane you could fit in that hangar door. Now, Jen and Morgan are over here at the Historical Museum. Since they're walking away from it, I'm guessing it's not open. Now this is my kind of yard art. Maybe these are old military. Look at that. No engine or transmission. You see this a lot in places that get a whole lot of snow and off-road and so forth, where they put the exhaust up like this, so you don't have to worry about hydrolock. I could totally fix these. Wondered if we'd see a cache on this walk. Sure enough, there it is. Judging by the outhouse, I'd say that's probably a dry cabin. So this Latitude 62, like we said, this is the place next to the campground. The bus is right over there. So, you know, we wanted to come check out Telkeetna, both for us and for you guys. Oh, we pulled it out of the campsite, but I gotta tell you, this is an interesting way for people to get to Telkeetna. Look at that, huh? I had a model of this when I was a kid. We called it the Freedom Train. I don't know if they still call it that.
want to say thanks for liking and subscribing. If you don't like it, don't forget to thumbs down twice. We really appreciate your time.